Today I'm gonna show you something different from what I normally show you. While it's not something that's savory, it is something that's really delicious as well. I didn't mention this before, but we do break fast with dates because that's what our prophet used to do. And what I'm gonna show you today is called Delbina, which is considered a prophetic medicine. The prophetic medicine is supposed to help cure depression and really soothe the soul. Not only that, it's super delicious and it's also made out of dates. To begin making our porridge, what we're going to do is grab a bowl and then I'm showing you guys pearled barley but it can be any barley. I then add about half a cup and I add it into my bowl. Then you'll see I'm grabbing enough water to cover. As always, there's no measurement for this because it's just a matter of covering the barley. I then swish my hand around the water and once it becomes cloudy, I wash the barley until the water becomes clear. I then take it, put a little lid on it and I don't actually shut it completely tight and I leave it on the countertop for about four hours. By the way, you can just use a food processor and make the barley into a powder and then you don't have to soak it for four hours. I then grab a food processor and I start preparing what I need to put in my porridge. I add 1 4 cup of pistachio and almonds. I then pulse it in my food processor so it turns into little pieces just like this. Now for the actual dates. I actually use different brands but this is the one that I use and it's actually from Costco. And then I actually grab my food processor. You're going to see over here, I grab one date and I actually show you that I take out the seed and I put it into the processor. I then do this for the next following 10 to 12 dates. It's up to you how many dates you want to put. I just want to let you know the amount of dates you put in makes it sweeter. So I'm putting in about 10 and honestly for me it wasn't sweet enough. So you'll see later on while I'm making the porridge what I do to make it sweeter. I then pulse it a few times on my food chopper and also you can use a knife to cut this. I'm just super lazy and I want to be fast and efficient. So I pulse it like three times and then once I do, this is what I want it to look like. After I'm done prepping, I then add about four and a half cups of milk into a pot on medium heat. I wait a few minutes for it to turn hot and you'll see that I then add my pearled barley. You'll see that it expanded and that's why I only add half a cup to soak and not actually one cup. I then also add the dates. Now you might see that the dates are all stuck together but you'll see I break it up with a spoon but once it actually touches the milk and you separate it while it's boiling it actually starts separating even more. Still on medium heat I then let that cook for about 8 to 10 minutes. I then add half a teaspoon of cardamom powder and it smells so good. I really love the smell. I then add my honey and this is what I was referring to to add some extra sweetness to it because it might actually not be sweet just from 10 dates. Also adjust the honey according to your sugar preference. I then also add my chopped almonds and pistachio and I mix it in. Now I just put the lid on and I let it cook for 25 to 30 minutes on medium low. You'll know it's done when you uncover the lid and then you put your spoon in and it becomes a thicker consistency, just like this. Now, the easy part, we can finally eat it.
We're finally back and I hope you guys really enjoy that not only is it something that you can have during iftar time but you can have it during suhoor. For those of you who are wondering what is suhoor, it's basically prepping your body mentally and physically for the next day that you have the intention to fast. Suhoor time is before dawn and once that's done we pray fajr and have the intention to fast. If you need more information about your habits or prophetic medicine or even about Ramadan, please check out Shop Eterna which I'll link down below so you can find better ways to track your mood and not only that, you can also keep yourself consistent. Check out my one that I have below. It's actually really, really helpful. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my mini Eid series that I'll be explaining not only what Eid is, but also what we eat during that time.